Hello, this is Paul Wilson Jr. with some more insights, inspiration, and imagination for your elevation. I'm here in Miami with my family, and we're actually celebrating the home going of my mother-in-law, Mildred Crooms. And definitely it was a bittersweet occasion. Definitely a lot of tears were shed because she's not with us anymore, but at the same time, we could laugh and smile and celebrate her life because of so many people that she impacted and so many lives that really were changed because how much she poured into them and how much she invested into them um, of her own life was spent giving and serving and helping others live better than they might have been living at the time when she first met them. And as I think about her life and I think about really every human being that was created, we all have certain things in common and three things in particular. We all have a date of birth, we all have a date of death, and we all have a hyphen in the middle. That hyphen represents the life that we live, the type of life, the people that we have connected with, the relationships that we've built, and ultimately the legacy that we leave. And so as you think about your life, think about your funeral. Think about the people that you want talking about you. Think about the people and the words that they would say about you. Again, whether it's five years from now, 50 years from now, 150 years from now, are you intentional about not just leaving a legacy, but living a legacy. Because if you don't leave it, if you don't live it first, you won't have one to leave. And are you gonna be the type of person where people either have to lie about what they say about you when you're gone, or they don't have anything to say at all positive because you didn't live that way? So between now and the time when you're laid out in front of a church and people are gonna have to come up and talk about you, plan your legacy and then live your legacy so you can leave a legacy, okay? I look forward to talking to you very soon. So until next time, don't just live on purpose, thrive on purpose.